If Trump wins, let Trump deal with this mess. Yes. We don't need that right now. Can you shut it down for a couple of months, please? <laughs> we need to do certain political campaigns over here. It's about the elections. It's about the country. We don't have time for the diddler now. Postpone the shit. We just need to focus on making sure that the yeah. Democrats are back in power. We shut need the black down. vote, by the way. We need the black vote. You know that this diddler comes with a fan base? Still talking about this P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddler, however you want to call him, Sean Com. You know, the reason why the feds, in my opinion, in my professional, humble opinion, the reason why the feds will take their time before they actually charge this guy is because in those particular investigations, there are bigger names than P. Diddy. Yes, of course. There's bigger names there, huh? Yes, and those bigger names, they do not want to be revealed. Of course not. Yes. That's why the freaking Homeland Security was already out there. They were leading this raid. Mm -hmm. Because it is possible. Okay. We say there's big names. They spoke about celebrities, Hollywood actors, singers, professional politicians, even royalty. Prince Harry's name was also dropped. He's attended these parties. Oprah's attended these parties. T.D. Jax's name is being dropped left, right, and center also. Yeah. If these particular celebrities or icons or role models or these people that we look up to, the people that you are apparently perhaps fan of, if these huge <laughs> names are there, yes. some individuals even from that Homeland Security are also there. Mm. Some names could be in there. They are in there. LAPD, Miami oh. PD, NYPD. Yes. Some names could also possibly be in there. Yes, they definitely are. So they need to have first-hand decision-making options mm -hmm. about these particular findings yes. or uh, evidence, footage. We need to have it first. Homeland Security with tankers. <laughs> Out there, <laughs> helicopters. helicopters and drones and all the oh. resources disposed to them. Go out there. The warrant is already signed. Go in there and look for it. Could be judges also in those parties. Those were lavish parties, mm. you know. So we shouldn't even rule out the fact that some of these huge names that are in charge of certain yeah. institutions and departments could be in there, possibly attended those parties because... Everybody has yeah. their fantasy of how they like to have fun. The yeah. pleasures of this world, the it, leisures of this world. Because this thing is now, it's, it's really taking over. And the raid happened now about 11 days ago. So the investigation, they should have some sort of concrete proof of something. It may not be concrete. Because in this case, you are planning to charge this particular diddler, this mm. individual. So you need to have concrete information. Yeah. But we, the public, are always late to the table. You must know that perhaps this investigation began months ago. Yeah. You see that Cassie lawsuit or whatever that thing that was slapped on Didi yeah. was at the end of 2023, I think. October, November. November. Yeah. Sometime now, the moment they get a file like that, when they bring a case to the authorities, mm. when these people, when these victims finally have the guts to come out and say, Uh, oh, we'll go public with all this embarrassing stuff, mm -hmm. and they bring the stuff over there, the, yeah. the, the departments themselves they have a duty to look at it and look for any form of criminality over there. Mm. So, even since then, because the names and the situation, the basis of all this freaking lawsuit was so criminally based in the first place. Yeah. It's a civil lawsuit, but yeah. they look for any criminality in here. Yeah. It's not the first time they get a, they, 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 they feel the need, Homeland feels the need, or LAPD or Miami PD feels the need to go and raid this house. So some people yeah. must sign off on these warrants. Mm -hmm. Some people must say, hey, is this reasonable ground? For us to do this because we, you're talking about defamation here you're yeah. talking about this thing will be will go public a billionaire whether he's african-american or not a billionaire's it's reputation billionaire. is on the line business deal companies partners out there affiliations that he has with a lot of people in this world is about to start losing all of that the moment we go completely haywire bull yes. like crazy like they did with that raid with all the resources yeah. so they weigh all these options mm -hmm. the in investigation started way before yeah and some cleverest intern or lawyer uh -huh. approaches them with substantial information as to why we desperately need this raid now we need to go into that house and see i guarantee you we have we it from reliable sources mm. 
We will that find something. We will definitely find something. <laughs> in fact, in fact, we should go in there. We should find his whereabouts. We're not talking about a warrant of arrest or anything, yes. but we should have we should have all of these devices in our possession because mm. the rumor is, I've heard it from reliable sources, sir. After the deposition, the guy came out and said he had uh, 25,000 million cameras at these parties. Yes. And these are the types of names yes. that attended these parties. Yes. And you can never, you never know. It could also be Cassie who drew a blueprint. She, she was with him for ten years. She knows all the places where she's working with everything. the feds. Uh, yes, she's working with the feds <laughs> right now to cooperate. She's mm. willingly working with them uh, to assist in this criminal investigation yes. with the feds and homeland. <laughs> this chick, thirty million wasn't enough. Uh, she she hates more. his guts, huh? Yes. Something must have happened there. Yeah. Now, I'm sure she's not stupid. She's not naive. She's not just out here as an evil person just to uh, ruin this guy's life. Mm. Do they have kids together? No, I don't think so. Oh. No. But I'm sure something happened to her. But I just... Um, that's, I that's not a dispute. Yeah. For sure something happened. Yeah. She was definitely unhappy in that union. Should we say marriage? That's not a marriage. I don't know. It's a marriage of sort, but she was definitely not happy in there. Mm. That's why she took it upon herself. She probably tried her best to leave that marriage, but she couldn't. She was threatened left, right, and center yeah. by the diddler. Manipulated to the core. We're talking For about sure. brainwashing here. You, yeah. you want to leave the diddy? Mm. You want to leave the mogul? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to date next? I'm Puff Daddy. Nobody's going to work with you after I have con I have contacts <laughs> all over the place. Who are you going to work with? Who will accept you? Who will believe you? Who yes. will believe you? Do you know how many resources I have? I will pay a mother millions of dollars <laughs> just to make sure that this thing is squashed. Mm. Are you sure you want to go down route? Who will want you? You'd be seen as second goods out here. Brainwash to the core. Yeah. Yes. Brainwashed and probably just uh, self-esteem was just put way down. Until finally, the personal trainer, apparently that guy, the husband. <laughs> how long have they been married for? Uh, that, uh, I, I don't know. know. I haven't checked. Anyway, we don't yeah. follow these people. Yeah. <laughs> we are not out here to go deep into their stories. Yeah. We look at it and we hope to God that some of the people that are watching this stuff unfold mm. before our very eyes can come out here and learn from this. These people that you people look up to, look yeah. at the kind of lives they live. That's why they say more money, more problems. Some people don't have the mindset to handle all that power. It's too much yeah. power. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein kind of stuff and all that. I don't remember Jeffrey Epstein being raided in this fashion. No. Only African-American man fits the criteria to be raided and disrespected like this. A hip-hop artist. That he's he's only about a hip-hop artist. Yeah. You know the, the, what they say about hip-hop artists, that what? they have guns everywhere, part of different things. Mm. So that is why they went in guns blazing. Trump's raid at uh, Mar-a-Lago did not involve those bulldozers, did it? Or the, those civilized. heavy machines. There was no homeland security there. No, I don't think so. Only that Miami, the feds or whatever. Yeah. Give us all your boxes, all your classified information that you brought in here for the White House. I think you are working perhaps with foreign policy people. Mm. We need to know. Are you taking all this information for yourself or what? It is yeah. true and it is possible that this can be seen as an attack on the culture because... Mm. Those kids were in handcuffs. Makes no sense. This is another thing. Huh. Because apparently when the raid was happening, it was simultaneously happening between uh, L.A. and Miami. Yes. And, and they actually saw P. Diddy at Miami airport about to board a flight. Oh, he really? was coming. Yes. He spoke to them. And he had cell phones on him. He had certain devices on him, which was also taken. Like after? At the same time, when the raid was happening. Man, this is calculated. They knew exactly <laughs> his whereabouts. He was at okay. Miami airport. They yes. stopped him over there. They fixed him or whatever they did, whatever the protocol is. Mm. Took some devices that he also had there with him. Really? Yes, of course. And they took whatever they took in LA. They took whatever they took in Miami. But the crazy part is he's the main suspect mm. and there was no handcuffs on him that is crazy. in Miami. But these particular overly ambitious officers from uh, Homeland. Homeland, because this raid by was led by Homeland Security, mm. Miami PD, wait. 
We go in first. <laughs> Tell your guy to watch to look it down the street. You take care of the press. We're going in here, guns blazing with the Homeland Security people. We deal with border patrol issues, human trafficking issue. Now, that's the main reason why Homeland Security was involved. Because yeah. they deal, they have a department in there that deals with human trafficking. And because yes. human trafficking or sex trafficking mm. is one of the major reasons why this whole freaking thing is even playing out before our very eyes inter entertaining us the way that it is, it's because of that particular thing, that charge, that possible charge, that allegation. Yes. Sex trafficking. When it's sex trafficking, homeland security. Mm. Because we're talking about sex trafficking, the possibility is there that perhaps your beautiful jet <laughs> He's bringing in Mexicans. What? Underage. We don't know. We don't know, but we want to find out. Yes. We want to just check. We are the ones that deal with these types of issues internationally. Yes. So that's why Homeland Security was there. But it was still too much force that was used there during that raid. No. Those kids in handcuffs were completely not necessary. Everybody's motivated by money. It's financial. And mm. even all those names, everybody that was at these parties, everybody that's out there, any of you celebrities that are out there that are f f shit scared <laughs> about the possibilities of your names being mentioned. in court or mentioned. Yes. Know exactly <laughs> what happened there. And they are afraid that their name or their brand would be tarnished for life. And so money will start leaking out of their pockets. Oof. Yes, that's Just what they're doing. Just keep people quiet. Please oh. don't mention my name. Can I have the tape? Give These are the embarrassing tape. stuff. Give me huh? the photos. These are major, major, major yeah. incriminating stories. These things stay with you, man. Not with me. No, not with you, but it stays with the person. You, you guys Forever. see what I did there? Affirmations, right? Not with yeah. me. Yeah. I understand the English, but not with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are his kids. Mm -hmm. I heard a story that that particular kid in the middle, that light-skinned kid, one of these kids of Puff Daddy, there's, an, there's allegations also that perhaps maybe he was the son uh -huh. of one of Diddy's bodyguards because he doesn't really look like Diddy. He looks like this particular form of bodyguard or security mm. guard or whatever, whatever. So many stories coming out of this story. So intriguing. This is bigger than any movie I've seen. I think yeah. it's going to topple up that, uh, what was his name? Bill Cosby? What oh, was the yeah. deal with Bill Cosby again? I keep forgetting these things. America has so many freaking stories it's coming out. We can't keep it? up. Hmm? Why is it that Hollywood is so Also assault, so sexual creepy. assaults, and all this kind of thing. <laughs> yes. All these women came out and they were all talking about how he did this to me, he did this to me. I'm a yeah. victim, I'm a victim. He raped me, forced himself on me. Even Trump, they came out to him. Uh, da -da -da, he did this, he did this. But you know what? Do you remember the story about Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky? Do you see how quick that shit was? That was a relationship. But that, but that shit, mm. did, what did she say? She accused him. She accused him, yes. Yeah, but that shit was under the rug. She was pushed under, under yeah. the rug. Under and the rug, under the rug. And she just left the White House. Oh, she got her <laughs> money. She They settled with her. They made sure the powers that be yes. went there and did their job. Hey, yes. we got to... And he's a Democrat. You know how the mm. Democrats run America? They protect The Republicans other. are trying their best. Look how they dragging Trump mm. all over the place. It's going to be extremely interesting. I... It's like a movie now. Huh? I really want a trial, actually. I would you want, want the. See. You want the. I want it to be a trial. You want. You want <laughs> the brother to be charged. Uh, That's what you're saying, huh? I want it to be a trial. I want to see what is what. What exactly? I is. want justice to be served. Yes. I want that, yes. but since these allegations are so huge yeah. and i cannot help but to think that there's more names in this paperwork yes. i don't want him to be the only one to be blamed to go down for this shit. otherwise yeah. this supposed human trafficking thing that happens in this world is assaults that we completely disapprove Yes. We don't like this. We don't like all this sexual violence. We don't, we're not up for this. We no. Christians, we are decent, kind human beings. And if people have done such atrocities to mm -hmm. other human beings, assaulted them, robbed them of their dignity, then they must pay the price. Yes. But everybody must be held accountable. Everybody yes. that did this must be held accountable. Because we want, if there's a trafficking ring, that ring should be ended. 
Otherwise, you're just getting rid of one person exactly. and then another person will take over. Yes. Because I'll tell you what, these types of activities, this whole notion and this whole thing that happens with all these cults, apparently, they take you to the woods and they have their oh. way with you. It's a ring. It's yes. Hollywood itself. We've heard these stories for decades. Yes. Now they're about to uh, come all those rumors down or fool us into thinking we don't stand for such stuff. Hey, look what we did to P. Diddy. Look mm. what we did to the Diddler. The moment we find out that this possible human trafficking and all these types of stories, homeland, we used all our resources as the American people. We did all this and uh, we, go, we don't stand for this type of yes, stuff. no, we don't. But these types of stuff mm. have been going on for a long time, for a long time. That's why I keep saying I've said so many times before. Yes. He did. He must have pissed off some Somebody. big name in Hollywood. <laughs> he must have rubbed the wrong feathers in Hollywood. He wanted to perhaps threaten somebody and say, by the way, do you know what I have on you? Do you know what I can do? Mm -hmm. I can end your whole career, brother. Oh, sister. Oh. I will, man, you, yeah. man do, you, do you want to see? Here's a, here's a little sneak peek. Mm. You see that? That guy said, no way. If shit like this should ever come out, I'm done. I'll be ruined for life. What am I going to do with the rest of, for the rest of my life? My kids, <laughs> my grandchildren, my family. Mm. Such an embarrassing story. Yes. So that guy said, no way. I got to go into my back pocket right now and see who I know. Find out who I know. Make phone calls. My brother, hey, the diddler is threatening my life. I need you guys to do what you do. But you got to keep my name out of it, please. Mm, that's very true. Because if you let them know that it's me who's snitching, <laughs> you'll definitely release these tapes. Yes, yes. But honestly, I hope that uh, Diddy is actually keeping it together. Spe no, he, it's, how can you... Who, who the hell is Diddy? He cannot, he's human. He can't keep it together. He's shit yeah, scared. I'm, he's shit scared. Yeah. He's shit scared. Uh, there's no one in history who's been able to withstand the traumatic stressful conditions that mm. being locked up yeah comes with yo man being locked up removing one from this world and locking them up mm. there's no way that if that was on the horizon for someone mm. there's no way that they could have the ability to keep it together yeah the only thing he can do is just make sure that his legal team that he lessens to his legal team. You have to exactly. hire the best lawyers on the planet, brother. You're a billionaire. The, the Spanish girl. No, no, no. The no, Latino no. Uh, lawyer. What do you I mean, Latino the lawyer? Latino lawyer that was on Johnny Depp's team. Is the lawyer of, of Didi? Yeah. No way, man. Hey, those people have a... There's no way they can be the lawyer of Didi. Really? They have a reputation to uphold. They, they, they represent the good guys. They maybe represent I, public opinion. They represent the people that the public likes. Maybe I was influenced They're not going to go and represent these, the diddler. These influence that I saw. Because I, I swear no, it's I could a, saw something. It's, it's, a, it's a lawyer that has perhaps experience with RICO cases. They're representing the sons as well. Because remember, the son also has an assault case. Mm. So he's representing Diddy and the, and the son. Of course. The reason why you are representing me as my lawyer is because I believe you're the best in the world. Yeah. Guess what? That's my bloodline over there. Yeah. <laughs> of course he has to. Mm. But the diddler, hopefully he's made the right choices to who the hell this Aaron Dyer is. Yeah. But please release the names. We please. want to see the names. Please. We've had Jay-Z's. We heard <laughs> that Jay-Z's name is in there. Yes. We had Oprah's name is in there. Helen we, we had Ellen DeGeneres, well. uh, Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. T.D. Jakes. I hope it's not going to be T.D. Jakes. Oh, I hope not. Well, people will just talk and say, by the way, at those particular parties, you know who also attended T.D. Jakes was there. That doesn't necessarily mean. Now, also, just yeah. because some people attended these parties doesn't mean they are guilty of whatever the diddler and his clan did. That is true. That's true. That is very true. Yes, I was invited to the party I attended. He's but never, uh, nothing like that. He has never done anything like that to me. He yeah. has never made such passes towards me. He's never insinuated any form. It's always been a, a proper handshake and hip hop yeah. hug. And that's all. Uh, I have no idea of these allegations. I do not get that vibe from him. 
I was invited, uh, and as a preacher, it's T.D. Jakes. I just mm. went to this uh, to see the guys. We had conversations. Yeah. Da, 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 and that's it. Yeah. Just because you attended these parties doesn't mean that you were guilty. Yes. That's why I like that other podcaster guy, Joe mm. Bite. Button? Button. Button. Button, yeah. Button or button? Button. Joe Button, something like button. that. He has a podcast. Mm. He says, hey, man, we went to these parties. They were something. Yes, yes. But we know when to leave. We left at the right time. <laughs> Everybody's out here protecting themselves, yes. as they should be. We don't expect it any other way. But Diddy is not the only one on this. He's not the only sex trafficker. No, there has to be more. If mm. these parties were legendary, there were places to be. You had to attend a Diddy party to yes. to be recognized as one of the elites yes. in that particular industry. And then these parties were off the chain. Mm. And then it also goes to, you know, the culture. Should I call it culture now? That whole yeah. saying that uh, young boys and Oof. churches, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, churches. <laughs> In that UK, huh? A lot. Yes, yes. Uh, these these priests, or what do they say? Uh, that uh, the Catholic, pri- yeah. the Catholic, they, they get together with those altar boys. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a big club. Yes. These people fly from all over the world. Yes. To go and attend these. We heard about a party. Mm. We heard about a P. Diddy party, the Puff Daddy, an entertainer. Mm. I want to attend these parties. I've heard such stories from these parties. Yeah. Could it be true? Who attended these parties? We want to know. Perhaps because the other name is what Prince Harry also attended these parties. Yeah, but he says I was only there for of a little bit. Of course, he will say that. I wasn't Everybody there for will any try their best to protect themselves. <laughs> Everybody will make sure that this story is a decent one yes is one that is not mm. incriminating mm. like i was also saying there's some people also out there in the hip hop industry or in the musical industry that are out here having a ball with this we've yes. mentioned 50 and his need to be a part of this huge story that's trending all over the world to come mm. out here and troll people yeah troll jay-z troll puff daddy troll any one of these people as if these people don't partake in questionable activities too. Ooh, look at this, Mr. R. Kelly. I don't remember such raids about Mr. R. Kelly. Nope. This R. Kelly... <laughs> this story is going to be so entertaining, huh? Yes, it because is. Because R. Kelly, even when they had videos of him, he used to mm. say, it's it not me. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. Hey, <laughs> we have you on video. We have you on video. A lot of these celebrities whose names are apparently in these dossiers will yes. also come out here. They'll yeah. show them... These footages firsthand and say, Prince Harry, is this mm. you? Is this you? Is this you? <laughs> no. <laughs> AI. <laughs> That's not me. No. Blame it on AI. Yes. They'll blame it on AI. And we have the elections coming up in November. Mm. Another. So we're going to have the elections. You'll see, you know, they know how to coordinate stories. Yeah. Somehow. The Attorney General will tell whoever's in charge of this particular criminal federal investigation that has to do with Homeland Security regarding the Diddler's case and say, can you shut it down for a couple of months, please? <laughs> yes. We need to do certain political campaigns over here. It's about the elections. It's about the country. Yes. We don't have time for the Diddler now. We need to prepare for the elections that are coming up in November. You got to postpone this shit <laughs> all the way to 2025. Make it end of 2025. If Trump wins, let Trump deals with his mess. Yes. We don't need that right now. We just need to focus on making sure that the yes. Democrats are back in power. Yes. Shut that down. We Shut need the black down. vote, by the way. We need the black vote. You know that this dealer comes with a fan base? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's true. It's very true, yes. They think about it. Yeah. Even that law was created. Some people sat somewhere and say the law should be like this. They sit down, these lawmakers. Yeah. They sit down and then they discuss. When they go back to their chambers, yeah. when they go behind the scene and they start discussing how to go about, we're setting the trial for this date. Yeah. There's reasons behind that. Yes. That's not an automated system that yeah. set that date. Mm. And so before they even set that date, <clears throat> hey, what's pressing right now? Uh, how will this be beneficial to the whole country? Mm. We cannot do that. We have this right now. And and it just cannot be, just get in line. Yeah. We have to put it specifically 
at this date because yes. we'd be dealing with this. We don't want this to interfere with that. Mm-hmm. We choose. Yes. Understand. And we the pawns, we the public, we just be sitting out here <laughs> just waiting, thinking just waiting. that this thing runs itself. Yes. We some people think this machine just runs itself, yeah. huh? Because it's the television. Yeah. It's the news. Mm. So just they'll just be sitting there thinking like oh, the date came out. Hey, some people sat down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Ooh.